you for responding to all those questions. By now we're just getting a feel, without listening even to your work first, we know what we can expect. Uh, because you, that's your philosophy and the way you approach it. So, like in ch very short words, maybe just three or four or five words, how would you describe your sonic stamp? In five words, yeah. my sonic stamp. Well, lows, mids, and highs, and low, mids, and high, mids. <laughs> <laughs> how many words was that? <laughs> Wait, that was uh, seven, seven words. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, depth of field, um, size, bloom. I would say connection, energy, excitement, uh, sorrow, um, emotion. You know, everything. The reason I say excitement and sorrow, it's like it's like fire and water. You know, whatever that, whatever it wants to be. You have to resonate with whatever it wants to be, emotionally, and then the music will kind of come to life. Once you once you get confident, it's like playing an instrument. You know, once you somebody that's really really connected to their instrument, they can make it sing. They can make it weep like like George Harrison, or they can make it you know exciting and and, and full of life like maybe maybe like a really you know exciting uh, score, or like a, maybe like a really exciting. Santana song, you know, or you want to get up and dance, you know, and everything in between. Understanding what that music is is speaking, and uh, and, and how to fully uh, bring that in and then pull it back out of you, so it just comes to life in the mastering process too. Sorrow when they see the bill. <laughs> There's always going to be sorrow. <laughs> They're going to think, I shouldn't have done this. 